Okay, I've got one. Favorite fruit. Give me a good upstanding apple any day. As opposed to one of those morally questionable peaches? Okay, my turn. Favorite thing to fight. That's like asking my favorite rash. Least favorite, then? Hmm. It might have to be Gorgons. Is that because they're over the next hill? It's the ick factor, even worse than Thrixel. They don't just move, they spread. They're like walking diseases. And here I am, making a career out of them. I'm not that old, right? Sometimes I wonder if it's not too late to start over somewhere. I wouldn't, though. Realistically, it'd reek of abandonment. Well, we appreciate that. What about you? What keeps you here? I was wondering if that was going to do it. A duty to protect. Honestly, it gives me a sense of control. You mean other than you? Um, I'm not going to do other than you. Because it is... Like, yeah, it's the romance option. It's the romance option. But... It doesn't feel narratively correct here yet. Right? We're talking about our individual purposes. If I guide the narrative exclusively by going down one line, even when it isn't you know, a narrative suit... That is going to jeopardize the strength of this game, which is the storytelling. So, uh, I won't on this. Um, because I think this character would say one of the first two. A duty protect is, is kind of like, it's, it's more decisive than I think that Kyle solely necessarily is right now. Honestly, it gives me a sense of control. That kind of like, question yourself, but leadership? I like that. Honestly, it gives me a sense of control. Maybe I'm delusional, thinking we can save the lands one Gorgon at a time. But that's the extent of each decision I make. I have to believe it'll be enough or I can't make any decisions at all. Er, uh, I mean, of course it's enough. <laughs> Don't listen to me. No, no, I... I respect that. Diplomatic of you. I'm not exactly a pillar of shining light myself. Got enough enemies out there. Don't make yourself one too. Fair. Gorgons do a fine job of that. We're getting close. All heroes stunt chances dithered. Oh boy. Oh boy. We see a Bogmore for the first time, heaving its overgrown body in mucusy pulps. Its grasping mouth drips and stinks. Oh, heck! They are already among us here. Okay. How do we do then? Uh, that Rager has armor out the wazoo, so... We're going to need to do some silk steppy kind of nonsense to really damage you that much. You do three to five damage and you trample. Usually interfuse lamps have actually really nice options. Really? Amplify the radiance of this light source to excruciating levels blinding nearby enemies. Stone tentacles for a discus interaction. Rocks for a discus interaction. Steel fire. Restless fire is unleashed into a nearby tile, burning where it lands and dealing half damage to units it passes through. Hmm. So much for keeping Silly out of combat. Yeah, exactly. We're going to have to kind of like bolster around if we want to do that. I mean, yeah, I like the idea of trying to blind him, but it didn't work particularly well in the, the, the peak. But hey, it might work here. Let's try it. Gimme. Your flare will end the turn, and that was a swift action, so I can interfuse another thing before I even do this. I think I will. 
Oh boy. Uh, let's go for the stone tentacles, I think. Okay, and then we'll use Flare, which seems like it'll affect both of those characters. It's a 75% chance to blind the Rager and a nice chance to blind the Raccoon as well. Oh boy! <laughs> Rager dodged. You hate to see it. The character that is already going to die to a single attack is vulnerable, but dead. There is a way to synergize the fire with the ranger trait, but it just wouldn't help us in this specific scenario right now. I think I'm going to get Kimaru to approach to here. Three to five damage on the Rager. It's going to try and go to Sil- Like, I, I want to try and prevent it from moving. Uh, can you flank already from the blind? Uh, does a dodged attack count as an attack? None of these positions are giving me the notification that I have the ability to flank with them. Wolfar and shoot is probably better. Yeah, like stand here and here and then just throw two shots over in that direction. I tend to agree. I don't love it, to be clear. But I think it's basically the only thing I can really do. Sometimes you do what you do. Uh, the dagger is also only going to be doing... Uh, swap your weapon. The dagger is only going to do uh, two times damage after the reduction from the uh, the armor. So if it does no damage, it's not really going to help us out there. If you rest shift while hovering over an enemy, you can see their attack range. Ah, yeah, you can see the kinds of things they have the ability to get themselves into. Wait. Can I see their range specifically? I can see where they can move to. Because if this enemy only has one range, Grey Plane ignores armor, yeah, but going into Grey Plane also ends my turn. If, uh, if I sit here, will it have the ability to sit there and then just hit Silly? If I sit here, is it still just going to move around me straight to Silly? Don't kill Silly. Just be rude. It didn't. It didn't do it. Uh, I mean, look, I can keep the discus. This enemy's not a great target. You can shred one of their armor with this attack. I don't like that. And then Kyle. So have you swap a weapon, move up here, flanking attack kill. You are now hidden in gray plane. Okay, uh, let's set up Kimaru here, I think. Seems reasonable. And then silk step. Well, I mean, oops. I gotta remember, I've got a silk step before that if I want to silk step at all. Uh, silly, you are going to need line of sight of a target, so stand here behind these, and then Eloise next turn is going to move further up. Silly, you have the ability to interfuse as well with those rocks there. May as well do so. It's free real estate. Heck, I can interfuse with another target, can't I? There too. All right. Eloise moves further up. Pops that bad boy open. Oh. There's nothing even in the next room. Okay, we'll take an advanced position again. Um, pretty far advanced. Silly, you... Honestly, like, silly, you can withdraw yours from all of the previous ones. It's not really going to be relevant on them anymore. But you've got to take your double dash to get up there in the first place. And Kyle, you too. Q. 
care. I mean... Remember the door? Get on the floor. Better believe everybody got to walk that door, that's all. Uh, Kamaru can take a shot from the gray plane here. 92% chance to hit, 100% uh, of removing our hidden. And then Kyle would have the ability to move behind and then just take a shot instantly. I like that. So Kyle now moves behind our target. You've revealed the Bogmore. Kyle kills, stunts, and immediately gets invisible again. Uh, from this position, Silly has the ability to take over the bones of the ruined table. Well, just the ruined table, actually. Stone tentacles, discus in four range. One, two, three, four. So it wouldn't even have the ability to go out that far. Um, okay, yeah, I think I do take the, the bones and then throw that off to the left as well. Silly is also here going to be walling with Eloise. Rude. <laughs> mm, glad that works. Cover. Some scenery cards, uh, grants cover, rather. Scenery that gives partial cover or good cover pro uh, provides protection to adjacent units. Attacks passing through the scenery have a chance to damage the scenery instead of the unit. Hmm. Okay, so the Bogmore has a pretty rough slam. Oof. Uh, four to six damage. Noxious Tongue of four range, which pulls the target to itself, leaving behind corruption. We should immediately go back to our interviews here. Perfect. That attacks the Bogmore from behind, which has revealed the Bogmore to a flanking strike. Can I not? Yeah, it was attacked from that position. So if I attack here against the Bogmore, it'll be a flanking strike. For six damage. Popped him. Oh no! <laughs> Kyle is standing on. Uh, so it, it, it did spread in our direction. Uh, Kyle will take one damage every turn he ends there. So let's try and not end any turns there if we have the ability. Silly, you have attacked in a way that has ended your turn. Yeah, you are no longer a movable character for us. Uh, Eloise, you don't really have the ability to get over there and do stuff at the moment. Kimari. Like, you can't even actually land a shot right now. That raccoon dodged two bone lances that easily would have it dead by now, if not for the dodges. Sentinel. Come on, move and... Oh, I was hoping that would just trigger Sentinel. <laughs> Alright, Kyle. Wait, Kyle? Swap weapon. Kill him. Kyle! Get him, Kyle. <sighs> Shooting Sentinel. Uh, that's what I ended up doing, right? Sentinel interrupts enemy movement is the upgrade for Sentinel. I do like that. There's also three other options here. Thundering Challenge. Uh, once per combat, as a swift action, Eloise frightens the enemy, forces them to spend their turn running away. Uh, Eloise can also become a bard, reduces the cost of recruit jobs by one, plus five stunt to all in party. No, viciousness. Eloise melee attack, uh, melee, rather, sorry, uh, attacks just dealing extra damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Second take a peek that Raps just had to continue playing, eh? Well, I mean, circadian dice as well. Uh... I also played some Dream Quest off camera and stuff like that. But yeah. Yep, they're definitely existing in that realm a lot at the moment. Uh, I want the Sentinel upgrade here. I do want to make that work. Strap of Cunning. Uh, we actually put a plus five melee and uh, ranged accuracy on someone. I think it was Kimaru. So that'll just double stack those on you. I like Bard personally. 5% is a lot. Um, 
Honestly, it, like th th that is more a flavor choice that I made there, I think. Because I, I, I don't know what is going to work, but I know that I really want a Sentinel to just stand there and go, Hey, sit down. Hey, sit down. Hey, you think I can't see you? Sit down. Uh, the Gorgon now has a raccoon that is corrupting the path behind it. It will leave a trail of corruption behind wherever it moves, adding itself to that deck. And look, we can secure the dim. Get it done. Oh no, I forgot about Skadian Dice. I meant to check that out, uh, uh, but then I got sucked into Spellcaster. But now I also need to check out Wildermyth. Stop taking a peek at cool games. No, <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> uh, two ingots and a spell thread, baby. Ooh, knee pads of illumination. Plus six on that stunt chance. We're stacking Kyle with stunt chance, aren't we? Like it. Hmm. Yeah. Let's get the next area. What do you got, Kindle Thorn? Hmm. A fight. But of course. <laughs> Assault of the Cobmere Boilers. Get up. And everyone's back on full HP. Feeling a lot better about that now. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that's supposed to do. Huh. Maybe we're both a little too anxious, huh? Oh yeah. Trying to anticipate the worst thing that might happen in case it does. You? Of course I'm tense. Moments before a battle, I get all squeezed up inside. I'll be fine, I just keep thinking about they'll get around me somehow. Hit one of you. That, you know what? No, I like a leader who questions themselves. Right? I like a leader who questions themselves publicly. You can have more trust in the integrity of a leader who is able to question themselves. Litigate that out loud, rather than just constantly putting on a front of, yeah we're, yeah, we're totally fine, I'm the biggest, baddest guy out here, it's all okay. That kind of thing, you know? And also, I mean, you know, maybe we're both a little anxious, and of course I'm tense. Moments before a battle, I get all squeezed up inside. Yeah, I'm super familiar with the ball in the stomach kind of feeling right there. Kyle, do it. Yeah, so watch my back, okay? I'll watch yours. No arguments here. Kyle and Kamaru gain temporary armor and warding. Ooh, our hunters. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's get some Silk Step online before we make any mistakes. Uh, Kimaru? You move one space up, you will silk step there. Kyle, you move two spaces over, you will silk step there. Eloise, you move up to the very end. You will sentinel there. Silly. What's the geography like inside? You have to stand something like there, I think. We'll have to move you next round probably as well. Um... All right, Eloise. Ooh, no one even in this room. Okay, let's take another advanced position. Uh, Kimari. Well, there is a second door there. You're gonna have to be prepared against the worst. Unless I just blitz this room. Maybe I just blitz that room. There's a furnace in it as well. That's only for good flare. We'll see. I don't want you to open the door this round. Take a defensive position. Um, Yeah, this is where we're going to start having problems. Where does Silly go? We've still got no armor. You gotta go around that corner and just wait again, I guess. And Kyle... Look, 
you just want to be near the action, Kyle. You actually may even want to be directly standing in front of that door right now. Hold for a turn. Someone else moves the door. Eloise, it's got to be you. You're absolutely kidding me, right? There we go. Hmm. There's a grain there, as well as a cooking pot, which is metal. Okay, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move silly here, which looks weird. I have the ability to undo that move if I want to, um, but I'm gonna use it to just see what these are doing. The shackle. Warp metal into grasping appendages that pin a single enemy for two turns. You kidding me? Pin the rager right there? Keep it standing? I love it. The, the Ranger is the only problem here. So if we, like, cooking bot you, Shackle, stay. <laughs> You're nothing now. Also, it shredded its armor, which is neat and good, and hell yes, and nice. Kyle wants to claim the kill, so Eloise or Kimaru take the first hit here. Eloise, you take the first hit. Uh, Kyle, you take that kill. Keeping yourself in the gray plane. I'm gonna get Kamado to move further up while still in gray plane. And then take a shot back down against this. Hey, Maxwell. Good to see you, bud. Okay. Yeah, um, um, silly. They can just come out of nowhere and do so much damage from afar. That's uh, rude. That's rude, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's illegal and also rude both at once. Well, you're pinned for an extra turn there, Rager. I don't know if that's enough. I can get you to silk step to invis the other side of them. I mean, it's not a bad idea. And then get Eloise to stand in front and then the Bogmore approaches and takes a reaction shot. It's just the, the raccoon that's really making this annoying. You know who might be the solution to that? Silly. There's a workbench there. Oh! Yes. Take over the workbench. Barrage from the workbench. Barrage hits everyone except for Kimaru. And grants a very easy flank. Oh, you love to see you, you just love to see it is the thing about it, though. Uh, one, and then two, and then... Yeah, okay, we can do this. Bogmore takes that. Kyle in the back line takes a shot against the Bogmore. Bunch of corrupted land. And then Eloise moves further up and then takes this shot again, still with a 100% chance. That is our fourth enemy. It dies. We end our turn. Got about you, you goddamn. <laughs> okay, at least that didn't, you know, it's it's a mistake, but it's not a mistake that killed anyone, so it's fine. That means it's fine, right, chat? Please tell me it's fine. Silly, what are you gonna do about this? Constrict. Two magic damage, so it'll bypass the, the enemy's armor. Hobbling an enemy. I don't know exactly what hobbling an enemy does, so I think now might be a great time to learn. Hobble an enemy. You are N hobbled. Speed temporarily reduced for two turns. We can see, ah, yeah, it only has the ability to move on space. That's really tragic, bud. I'm almost sorry about it, but I'm not. I'm really not. Okay, now I'm uh, still not sorry about it. 
I'm more incensed than sorry. Get him. That's the second time Silly is just suddenly on death's door. Yep. Hey. Kimaru Rebuke is now a blood horn hunter. Uh, ambush. Kimaru draws back using a ranged attack on the first enemy who enters a threatened area, dealing an extra two damage. If the shot is not sprung, Kimaru gets a free attack at the beginning of the next turn. Kimaru is good when that happens. That is good. That is a good thing. Ember arrows have not helped. <laughs> Uh, plus two armor and one warding. Kamaru, you are actually, uh, like, more ranged of the- t I, I know your positioning disagrees with it right now, but you're the more ranged of our two hunters, so I think you will take ambush. Ooh, Hurlax! This is an offhand weapon. Uh, for four damage, six range, one th uh, shred, and two stunt damage. Two throwing axes that shred armor and deal damage. Action throw axe. Individuals throw a light axe at a nearby foe, shredding armor and dealing damage if it hits. Can be used twice per mission as a swift action. Kyle. As a swift... Wait, hang on. Great on Silly? Why is this great on Silly rather than on uh, Kyle? Seems like it's a, a good opportunity for Kyle to be able to set up uh, better, uh, better flanks. As well as... Uh... As, as, as well as uh, making it more secure for Kyle to be able to take additional damage, as well as deal uh, enough damage to get back into Grey Plane. Still uses a wand and often needs range damage that's not an interfuse. I think I'm going to leave this on Kyle. You can flank with yourself. Swift attack, move, stab. That's one of the things that's really made me want to take this. We'll find more weapons. Gorgon Geist. Uh, there is now a new card in the Gorgon deck. It is more dangerous now. That actually seems... Um, oof. Uh, uh, uh -oh. The Gorgon deck is getting very powerful, and all of our enemies are Gorgons. Let's secure this area. Get ourselves an item. In softer light, Kimaru seeks to bury an old friend. It's an opportunity we now have the ability to use. So, I thought this was like an event, but isn't this just completion of the quest? Because won't this just take me to Quiet Roost if I do this? Hmm. It is? No, it's a random place? Oh, so last time it just happened to take us to the objective. What? One of the stories Owen used to tell, uh, describe the place he used to go as a kid. Old Orwain with the young heart said it was his chapel. A wild place always tussled in pleasant breeze and odor. Sounds like your kind of place. I don't, expect, I don't expect to find the pristine, weather-blessed garden that his stories painted. You know how old Orwain was, capable of believing anything. But we owe it to him to make the journey. <laughs> or at least I do. For the many ways he's helped me. You have the... His ashes are in an urn. It's in my pack. Never knew how much the old guy meant to you. I liked him, though. His sweeping stories. Good weather to make good time. Hold on! We have to go back. I left the urn. Um... We have to go back and I left the urn. No, no, I, I like the story beat of this matters a lot to me. Suddenly gonna be deeply serious. Good weather to make good time. Ah, I see. We're not gonna be able to take everyone out of this one? Um, yeah, that's who we take though. I think we drop silly for this mission. Go all aggressive. Score. Ah, this is taking us back in the other direction. Back to the Argaboost. Calamities! All the enemies advance their plans over time. Hey! Tail spike, additional splash damage! There's Row 2, the sequel to Row, and the Raccoons have extra armor. This is. It's feeling like maybe I, the Raccoons are getting really powerful! 
I'm gonna double cancel those raccoon bonuses. I didn't want to. But I think maybe I should. Keep going. No, oh, wait, can I, I... Can Silly just continue doing stuff down there at the same time? She could? Wait. Hmm. Their quest to enter the ashes of a friend and elder, uh, and elder goes mostly unhindered until they reach the woods. Oh, Kamaru, do you see that form? The river curls blue like a coil of hair down the cold, colored cheek of the mountain. Ancient pilgrims wander its winding course. The trees. Uh-huh. You sound like you're coming home. I'm just remembering how old Owen used to tell it. Those were his words. This place... This looks like the place. They descend into woods that grow more thickly than expected. A symphony of echoing birdsong greets them and never ceases. His words are not, it sounds like they stuck with you. Hmm, sure. The thing is, the hang is, the hang is, hang, hang. That's that's the thing. I, that's that's one of the words that I always screw hard in the wrong direction for for Scots. Time goes by. I've always cared a lot, you see. Always been won down by it, won down by it. Watch people wither, seen places ban. Good tools, best. Owen Corp was so much older, and yet the hope and human fondness in his eyes. I think it kept me from sinking. Hold up, Kamaru. There's Draven. Eh, yeah, they've been <laughs> they've been stuck in this though for some time. It's not many of them, from what I can tell. If it's Draven, they'll hit us when we're not ready. Let's get this over with. Provoke a fight, or we had to bury your Wayne. Who knows? Maybe they're on a simple errand. Uh uh. Provoke a fight. <sighs> Let's make it quick then. Let's just look out for each other. TVOS, Yormanganda, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. Joe Remotes and Chan, welcome to the Republic. Stone throat in a stump. Turning its nose to the earth and sky, it hunts, it seeks, and it bellows like a thundercloud. Okay, we see no enemies developed on the map just yet, but this is a relatively large arena. They gotta be over here. Hondo P, they over there. Do I take a defensive position early? I think I might take a d defensive position early. Just get our silk steps up. Let's move a bit out and then do it. Yeah, so I can at least reveal the enemy. Know what's up. Nyx, thank you very much for gifting 5 one subs and community to Jason1454, to Demi of Derp, to Ario Valor. To Scottfin95 into the green of green. Enjoy your remotes and chat and welcome to the Republic, y'all. As well as remember to thank Nick Starfield specifically for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. Okay. So if one of them's out in that direction as well, we should just hit the left and then turn hard right, I think. So. Um. Um. No, that's not what I intended to click. Ah, right. Uh, unselected Kyle there. Okay. Uh, you will go there and then Silk stop two spaces forward. And then Eloise. Move up in this direction, set up a Sentinel. Ah, I've accidentally revealed my target in Kimaru. Unfortunately, Kimaru is hard split from everyone else as well. So what we're going to do here is Kimaru is just going to come up. Um, Kimaru? Uh, can I not? Can I not go back into the Great Plane? Bud? Uh, you don't have a ranged attack. You can get close enough to us. 
So it step has a cooldown, apparently. Got it, got it, got it. Um, fine, I'll move you further up. Eloise can stand here and Sentinel, and then Kyle. Do you want to start flanking, Kyle? Is that your kind of thing? That could be your kind of thing. That sounds like it's your kind of thing, Kyle. Your kind of thing. Weird, that one didn't notice, Kyle. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Uh, okay. Kyle, you have a skinning knife. The skinning knife's range is 1.1. Do you have any alterations to that range in some way? Kyle, please. I don't think you do. Yeah, nothing. Hmm. Okay, I probably, we probably, no, we should definitely go up and go for the stump, is the thing. Is the hang. So, if you swap your weapon, we could try and lock down the stump. Eloise just moves further up. Yeah, fine. Eloise moves here. Take that strike. Kimaru, move up to there. Swap your weapon. Use your bow. Kill the target. Okay, and then I think you're going to try and loop around to the left. So I'm going to actually just get Kyle out of dodge. Wait. Or not. Or maybe they'll do it completely the opposite way, and then Kyle is completely locked out of the battle the entire time. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, and it's okay. Um, let's get you up here. Set you up with an ambush on these tiles. And then Eloise, you just stand there with a sentinel. Then Kyle, set yourself up. Come on. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> hell, hell yeah. Kimaru gets a level. Cloak of courage. A cloak made from layered and woven grasses. Plus five to block. Uh, it's an Eloise. Gotta be an Eloise, right? Close to the riverbank, they spill Orwain's ashes in a pit they've dug and lined with smoothened stones. Refilling it with the earth, they slide a stone marker into a spot they choose and stand in greenish shadows and slanting light. Do you remember any of his old stories? Or wins. Yeah. So will you share one? Nope. Or <laughs> Wayne was right though. This place. It's a softer light to see your light by. Yeah, it's a softer light to see your life by. Life by? Life, life by? <laughs> we start to think of our own troubles as so important, but they're amazing riverbanks. Bird song, beautiful places and things, peoples and creatures too. Sounds like we made a good journey. Thanks for making it with me. <laughs> Quest complete, plus 10 retirement age. What? It's gonna take longer until our character decides to retire from their job? Dig it. Uh, Kimaru Rebuke is now a blue horn hunter. Ambush interrupts enemy movement. Like it. Uh, the other options. Windwalk. Active. Once per combat is a swift action. Kimaru can call on the wind spirits to guide him to a distant tile. Ooh, nice. Set yourself up. Uh, archery. Passive. After a ranged attack against him or any adjacent allies, Kimaru counterattacks with a ranged attack of his own. Through shot. Uh, active, Kimaru fires cleverly placed arrow that will pass through the first target and hit the next target in line, dealing negative one damage to the second target and the ambush upgrade. I'm going to take archery. You're going to be my archer. Silly should have been researching this whole time.
Have you been? You may have been already. Uh, and then let's gather the rest of the party over there. Both of those occurring at the same time. We're at Kinhall Pines. Nice. Now we'll get everyone involved. Silly is now back on full HP as well, and the site is safe, and we have gotten the knowledge. One heartwood, one hide, one spell thread, a storm flint necklace. Potency. Mmm. I mean, potency is a stat for the old casters among us. Um, potency is damage added to interfusion attacks. It's also factored into some abilities. We haven't got many abilities which potency would actually function similarly. So we'll put it on our interfuse character. Then it's time to scout this area. Welcome to infesting the tile. Yay. But what if we're infesting the tile with adventurers instead? What is Kimaru's relationship with Eloise? Uh, they have a crush relationship, I believe, still. Deep wilds have been revealed. Let's actually quickly check that. Kimaru, what is your... Oh, sweetheart. They are now officially sweethearts. Vice Clone says, uh, so because you didn't do a recap of how you feel about the world building in this, in the Take a Peek video, do you want to use the time between chapters to talk about your take and if the game met your expectation? I feel like the things that I am... Uh, the things that I am projecting that I will deeply... The things I'm projecting that will demonstrate the depth of the system to me are things that will happen further in the future than the chapter's end. So I I could reflect on that, but it would be later. Also, Kimaru teats Kyle as a crony. Just extra block while walling with him. Nice. Potency of spells, bonus damage of physical. Yep, makes sense. Although there were some effects that just uh, that, that weren't spells necessarily, but they said they increased an effect with potency. Like, you know, more damage with potency from uh, Ember Arrow or something like that, you know? 